Right, welcome back to the Steve Longstay workshop where sets come to be repaired and looked at after they've been in trouble or looked at by somebody else or not working and nobody can quite find out why. Today, actually, I've got a set on the bench which is here purely for the beginners, okay? If you're a beginner with vintage radio, in Britain by the way, this is where you start. It's a basic. Um, five valve six valve in this case um long wave medium wave and fm this one is a defiant the defiant model a23 i think it is yeah an a23 um standard thing now these sets from this era the the the, the two a penny so go any fair get one and have a look okay the valves they use okay Usually okay, um, but wanting to, but of course, before you just plug it in, the things you have to look for first, okay? First of all, this is an AC DC set, it doesn't have a transformer on the mains, it has a big resistor, okay? There are two kinds in Britain, this is AC DC sets like this, and the AC sets, there's one behind me actually but have a look at in the future but for now this is an AC DC set and if, what happens is one side of the plug goes to chassis via the off switch of course and the other end goes of course up to um, transformer and of course through the via lights and the and the and the lamp valve reaches the deck um see if, see if I can see if I can show that for you. It's quite simple really. It really is quite quite simple. I just uh, see if that uh, shows it. Okay. Yeah. Now on sets like this, the first thing you do before before, before you plug it in, take it apart, which I've done here, and um, the first thing you've got to go, go look at with them, these sets, is make sure that the neutral is tied to deck. So what you do, one of these goes on the chassis like so. The meter, it a cheap one like this would do, this costs 15 quid. This, this one, it will do fine, okay? Switch it on, get the plug, which is here, which I've checked by the way, it's okay for wiring wise. I also, by the way, this one is, is legal of course, some aren't, and look, and you see that one that see there's live, doesn't go to deck but the neutral does so that is okay that one that is okay if it's the other way around take the plug apart and swap the two over uh, at the end of it by the way it might be worth changing the cable as well because this stuff is technically illegal for sets which is this so it's why to change it particularly if if, if the um, the cable itself is is frayed which this one isn't so but that's okay Stand back, it's switched on here, and switch on, and see what happens. Anything or nothing, doesn't matter, but let's, let's just see what it does. You should see things start to light up fairly quickly. Uh, just look and check, because valve sets, of course, they, of course, do, do have, a, have a, a warm up time on them, so. If a set like this comes in, it doesn't come on straight away, give it a couple of minutes. Always do that. The rectify is lighting up on this now. A, a, a warm red glow, very orange glow, by the way, on these. These, by the way, are the U series of valves, which go in series, okay? The, the valves differ on the voltage on the heaters, but the currents stay the same. Okay, so we've got something right. Well, pits of all time. This is good. That means we've got a radio which, which, although it does appear to work, 
the clips of Pat and Wicken after me having done nothing to it doesn't mean that uh, it can be put together and used. Not with a set this age. It just can't can't be done. There are certain things which need to be checked. So unplug it like so and um, have a look around. First of all, any of these capacitors, these wax capacitors, change them on site. Um, look at the circuit here. You find that the normal things like 0 0.047, 0 0.022, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 and so on. These disc caps are, are usually okay, but I always check them as well. And there's one capacitor which you must check and change in all sets because a capacitor is a lot cheaper than a valve or an output transformer. That is, and in this set, capacitor 46 on the on this circuit diagram here. Okay, this is because this, this particular capacitor feeds the signal to the grid of the output pentode. Okay, so always change it, always because what end of it goes to, goes to a HT and the other end of it goes, oh, sometimes by a, by a resistor to the first grid of the output pentode. Don't write that for now, just look for that capacitor, which is what I've done here, okay? And it's this one here, this one here, yeah? So that one needs to be changed, yeah? That one, yes, it needs to be changed. That one, yeah. That one, yeah. One, two, and three. Those three caps, must be changed okay that one because it looks a bit a bit grotty that one because those do need to fail and that one there's another one actually here that looks at, that might be okay we'll come to that later on with these sets we work on medium and long wave first and then fm later on okay again also by the way th th this quite often a, a, a capacitor going across the main switch which is this one here that one if it's okay, leave it. If it's um, get, get, give trouble, you've got two options. One, get one out of an old power supply and put it in. It's, it's just the, um, across the, the line cap, which is usually, um, well, it must be an X2 capacitor of some kind. You get them in your own power supplies or, or get them online. You specify X2 capacitors about, um, 0.01, 0 0.2. It's, it's just, it just, just, just it filter so any crap off the main so getting into the radio. Well, now at this point now, I've changed that one capacitor there, and it, it made no difference. That cap was probably okay, but it's better safe than sorry. Now, as far as sold is concerned, by the way, get the proper stuff. This is still available, 6040, lead and, lead and tin. This is the best stuff to use. Modern stuff. Don't touch it with a barge pole, okay? The next capacitor has been changed. It is an, an electrolytic capacitor. Now, these are polarised. Unlike that one, they can go in either way around. Electrolytics go in one way. They mark negative and positive. Red and black. And um, this is one here. One end is marked negative. The other end is positive, yeah? The positive end is usually longer than the negative end. There's one here, you see to, uh, don't see it, to look at, you see. Put them in the right way around, otherwise things can happen like big bangs. There's one cap in this, electrolytic, which I might or might change, not change, I don't know yet, on the VHF side, that uh, goes again to grain. Most of them, the negative goes to chassis. Now, when you change the capacitors like this, after every capacitor, switch the set on and check it. That way, if you've got a mistake, if you change them all in one go and saw something's wrong, you're chasing your tail. So always check one capacitor, check the radio. One capacitor, check the radio. One capacitor, check the radio. Why, I hear you ask? Well, you don't want to spend all the time chasing your tail. You see, this is a job which we're now doing as a hobby. And, um, well, hobbies are meant to be enjoyed, aren't they? The next thing now is the dial bulbs. I've got this set up now. 
correctly, although not in the chassis yet, in the case yet. And I'm going to sort the bell bulbs, bulbs out now as well. Now, the three dial bulbs in this are in series. So if one is bad and one's good, they'll both be out. The one that's in has been tested, it's good. But this one is bad, OK? So that one, I'm afraid, is only fit for the bin. Which is where it's going to go. There we go. So... What we do is we get uh, get the get uh, a new one from my magical bag here, like that. Which we also uh, need to test, which we do it in the same sort of a way. Your meter, by the way, goes on to um, goes on to uh, continuity, and uh, again. But people with two hands find this a lot, lot, lot easier than people with one. So, um, again, I'm sorry. I take, I take time. But if you look at the bulb, you see it's, it's uh, the screw connection on these sets. And um, this isn't going to go, is it? Okay, well in that case, we'll put it in the set and we'll see if it works. We should hear a beep, by the way, that's why. So that now goes into there, like so. The, in the early days of, of, of radio of this kind, by the way, the bulb went, the set would go out, which, which, which was uh, not good for the uh, people who owned the set, but very good for the engineers because, of course, it had to go in and be repaired, didn't it? So, uh, yeah, yes, they, they did do such things in those days, but not now. By the way, Defiant sets, by the way, were, were two Corp's own brand. Um, I'll, I'll tell you a bit of history of Defiant in a, the, the rest on the video. But they, they were made by a firm called Plessy, and they were, they were, in fact, very, very good sets. They were the first uh, commercial brand of this kind, the first shop brand. So, um, in a way, that was history, right here, history. The, f the co-op shops, by the way, the, the co-op was born not too far from me. I'm in Bolton, and co-op was born in Rochdale. And they were uh, with the set on, with the bulbs working as well. So when the set was back in the case, the bulbs were light up the dial on the front there. Now then, let's see what VHF has to tell us, shall we? And there's VHF or FM. You're on these sets, so it goes up to 101 megahertz on FM. But this, as you can hear, it's working. VHF FM does have an aerial, as you can hear. This, this here. This one in the set as well. And she's just there. But for now, it's sort of, sort of a piece of wiring like that. Right, with the aerial connected, disconnected from FM or VHF, of course, I won't get anything, but plug it in. And there we are. But with it out, I, I can, I, I'm going to quickly take you through the way that these sets operate. First of all, over here, don't touch it while it's switched on, for heaven's sake, is the AC or DC switch here. This set works between 200 and 250 volts. Now, most sets... Most areas today of mains in this country operate on 230 or 240 volts, so I always go for 250. You might find it turned down. It, it was a common trick in the day, if the valves were on the way, to, to, to take it down, to have to brighten them up a bit, so it's something to, to look for. Also, next, first one along is the rectifier. That can convert AC to DC. It's a, it's a half wave on this, a simple diode, and... Um, On, AM, or, 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 on AC, it'll work either way around, obviously, which is why these these cables can be uh, interesting if it's set up wrong. On DC, of course, it'll work around one way but not the other. OK, but most sets now use AC. This is the rectifier valve. This is the output pentol valve. 
U L84 in this case. There's also a, an EL84 added PYA4, but it'll add a bit of UL or a, an EL. Okay. There's also a set marked, marked ECL inside as well, but um, or UCL. Uh, they they include the uh, both the stages in one. Thanks for along. On VHF sets, it'll be an E or a U A B C eight. A is is one dad dad for a for for AM. B is two dads for FM, and C is the um, the first first day of amp. All in that valve. UF eight nine. Backwards a bit. That is the um, I've only five valve. This is on the AM the mixer oscillator valve. A FM signals. AM signals come in at RF and they are mixed down to IF and fired at IF. Now switch it to, to which switch it to to um, to FM. This operates purely as a another amplification stage at uh, IF, which is 10.7 megahertz on FM and four. 470 kilohertz on AM. Okay, and this little valve here, that is the one which does all the magic for FM. If that works or it doesn't, the quite easy to get, although one or two of them are getting hard now. Some of them have two UL or UF80s there, of course, but this one has, a, has what's called a UCC85. There's also an ECC85 and also a PCC85 for TVs. That's the valves. Hey, transformers for a, a IF. If it's working, don't touch them. Okay. That's it, really. That's the antenna for uh, for AM. That's the antenna for FM. And as I said, if I if I was to put in put in the uh, signal for uh, for FM. Go on, get in. There you are. That's uh, that's an FM. I've put another bulb in there. It's not the right size, but it does actually uh, light up slightly. But I'll, I'll get the correct bulbs for that on online as well. So now, of course, we've got to uh, clean the setup. The knobs, of course, soap and water. That's all. The soap and water. The case. It depends what state the case is in. This one is in a bit of a state but I'll, I'll do what I can with it with uh, with polish and um, also boot polish and shoe polish of the right kind is a, is a good cover of scratches. Um, it, again it depends how you need to go. Some people do something which I can't with, with, with ship, it, ship it there and revarnish it. I don't, I don't see the point with a set like this. If, if you do then there's plenty of, uh, of sites online to show you, show you how to do that. And of course, this here is the uh, the card for, uh, for, 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 for the, uh, which also needs to clean. So give it a clean, put it together, and hopefully we'll have a working radio. And if it's your first one, I give you a tip: use it. Don't sit, don't, don't let it sit there. Use it. They're meant to be used, so use them. This is a set now a defiant. Put my stuff back together again. And um, before I finish with it, I'm not very good with cabinets because, you know, I've only got one hand. But I will give you a few pointers. Um, first of all, on the top here, a lot of the scratches have gone. Simply like the use of elbow grease and this stuff. This stuff comes from the uh, online and elect uh, electronic shops, that sort of thing. It's called service or foam cleanser. And this stuff, we spray it on. Wait a minute. And uh, using the old rag, off it comes, and uh, the thing comes up like new. Don't use polish until you've used this stuff, because polish polishes dirt into the radio. This stuff beats it out. After this, you can use polish if you want, but usually that stuff will do fine. Um, on the front of it, by the way, you might have noticed that the uh, the speaker grill has gone. When the, when the sets were new, they, they didn't have a speaker grill like that at all. It was dust that, that uh, created that. 
and this stuff is a steam remover, wipe it steam remover. Spray it on all over and again with the rag, off it comes and it comes up like that. A lot newer, uh, newer looking than it was. So that's this stuff, it's called um, steam remover. There you are, that, that, that's stuff like that. Okay, that's um, wonderful stuff. That it's amazing what uh, the wife, the wife's uh, or, or the mother's or the, or the girlfriend's uh, cupboard has in it for um, doing radios. It really, really does. Things like nods, by the way, pull them off, put, put them in water, give them a scrub, come up like new again. Uh, anything painted like this, again, again, scrub, 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 and off it will come with some more of this stuff, yeah? Now, in this case, as, as you can see, there are parts of it which haven't come so, so well. Bits in the cabinet, that sort of thing. I'll give you a, 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 a couple of tricks here. One, of course, is the is the um, pens that um, furniture restorers sometimes use, and the other one is shoe polish in the right colour. Polish it in. It covers a multitude of sins. This set, by the way, is Defiant. Now, Defiant, by the way, was um, made by the Co-op, the Co-op Society, which was born not too far from, from me. I'm in Bolton. Um, Defiant were, were the Co-op, and Co-op were, were born in Rochdale. They started selling the girlfriends back in 1922. But the co-op and the grandmas, or your mothers, or your great grandpas might, might remember uh, the co-op divvy, which is sort of a dividend. Yeah, you basically got a book, filled it, filled it with stamps. It was given to you every time. Every time you spent money at the co-op, you got these stamps back then. And uh, it uh, that was the dividend at Christmas. It would get say a radio or a suit or whatever with it. It, it was the, and defiant by the way was the first. Um, made for a supermarket brand and it was made because because of the, of the divvy a lot of companies Philips, Echo and a few others did not like um, their way of deal dealing with it they like, uh, didn't, didn't like the divvy so they stopped supplying the, the, the co-op um, the co-op however were defiant hence the name and um, they said okay we'll make our own they went to Plessy and Plessy designed stuff purely for the co-op uh, this is one such set. They also b b brought out uh, another brand, Regent, or I believe uh, Graham Christophe, as it, as it George Christophe did, did one recently. But they too came from the same faction. Again, came from up, up here. Uh, they found the tape recorders, radios, TV sets, record players, a lot. Um, all good stuff. This, for example, doesn't have any. Uh, Hunt capacity in, or flex capacity in it at all. Uh, one or two I did change in it, just to, to, to make it a bit safer, but most of it was fine. No, there were two, the two uh, paper capacities in it which I changed, and also a couple of those uh, plus the uh, uh, twitted, which are also equally bad. And also, there's one cap which I must change, which, which, which was okay in this, because in this they were this caps and uh, this caps are usually okay, but I see it anyway. So, with it, very little work actually with this one. Not changing our capacities, by the way. I don't like that approach. I don't like it because what do you learn from the change of the caps and switching it on? You learn absolutely nothing apart from the solder. Um, nothing at all. Say, 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 you get a radio like this, turn it, turn down the capacitors, turn it on, still doesn't work. What then? Bit stuck, aren't you? So I can see why it's not a, not a particularly good idea. Although the internet says that everything is a capacitor. Some things are, yes, but not all. So don't go down that, that route. I will, in fact, uh, in this video, also take this out of the way and we'll look at uh, circuits for radio of this kind and tell you what goes wrong and what doesn't take us to the details. So I'll stick around for that as well. But this uh, still works. And then works, so. When it's warmed up, sets of this era have to warm up. By the way, they can't just there's no switch on and go. You have to wait for them to warm up. There it is. You see? Who's us? Sports Network of the Year. There we are. And so, medium wave.
That's a fair dis distance station, actually, that. That's a local gold station I use in the workshop. And that, in behind that, is a foreign station. VHF, by the way. That, by the way, is on, is on its own aerial uh, to get good reception on VHF. You really need an outdoor aerial for these. Harry's, we're up for the Harry's. Okay, so never it works on all bands and it works relatively easily. Now, when you've got a set working, you must use it. These things are meant to be used, not put in the shelf and loot at. They're meant to be used, so use them. Always make sure you use them because what's what they're for, you know. I have seen people who have loads of radios on shelves, or all incapable of uttering another word ever again. That is sad. That is really sad. So when you've got a set like that, use it. And of course, if you get a lot of sets like I do, looking looking around here, then of course, I put them on a rotor. The moment I'm on a my workshop radio is. Um, the pink RCA from America, which is over there, which I can't put on because it's tuned in the music station and we can't put music out over the net. So anyway, I will take it off the bench now and then we'll talk about uh, the set and I'll look at a couple of circuits and tell you what to go, what goes wrong, what to change, what not to change and what to do before you switch the radio on. OK, so we're almost done with this one now, but uh, stick around because I'll take you through some of the basics, OK? Right now, with the set out of the way, I can talk to you very briefly about radios of this kind, the 50s radios and the 40s radios of this kind. And um, if you're a beginner, what to look for? The different uh, types of uh, power supply and things of that nature. So let's start. This is part of the circuit of the fight radio we've just looked at. Now the defiant radio is what's called an AC-DC set. On these sets, always make sure the neutral is tied to earth. Always. Also, with these sets, the valve heaters are in series going to deck as well. And in some cases, like this defiant here, the um, light bulbs dial light bulbs are in series as well with the, with the resistor behind them or and of course there's the um, dropping resistor and of course the uh, resistor for the um, voltage for the mains voltage because it varies of course it's AC or DC now in these sets like I said always put the neutral to earth Always put the earth to neutral. Never put the earth to live. Never do it. That is why in this set, technically, the, the, two, the, the, the two cables have to be different. The current ones, of course, are brown and blue. The neutral brown is live. In the old days, it was red and black, but the same applied. Always go to neutral. Now, with these sets, if you, if you take a, a valve out, they won't light up. The set will still be live, there'll still be AC on the uh, rectifier, but uh, apart from that, the set will be dead. Now on these sets, on an AC-DC set, it will be a halfway rectification, like that. On, a, on a, an AC-only set, it will be full wave. And uh, I've got here a full wave set for you to look at. There we are. This is a Pi P75. This, however, as you can see here, the valves are parallel and, of course, each one is tied to deck and they all go through winding on the main transformer, which is here. The rectifier has two anodes rather than one and this is a full wave rather than a half wave. The difference, by the way, is that AC is um, down the right. Half wave means 
bottom half goes completely like that. You see? Full web means the bottom half comes up like that. Y valves, U, U Y valves are of course half wave and the, the things like EZ are full wave. Okay? Now, the valves on these sets, by the way, anything that's got U in it, UZ, U, UL for, for the rectifier, for the uh, pentode, and such like, anything U, UCL, UCC, they, that, they, they will go in a half, in an ACDC set. Anything E, EL, EZ, they will go in a full wave set. And they're not interchangeable, so no, they can't put, say, a UL84 in place of a, a UL84 or a EL84. They can't, they can't uh, swap the two. The difference, by the way, is that the ULs are, of course, all, all the same current, 0 0.1 amp, and the voltages vary. With the U series, the, full, the voltages are the same, 6.3 volts. This is AC, of course, or AC and DC in the case of a an ACDC set and they um, and they of course um, go to deck so we to check by the way if you're not sure leave the, leave the main transformer if it's not there take a valve out and plug it in if the other valves light up the chances are it's a it's an AC only set if nothing happens at all then it's DC that's the difference okay after the rectifier of course the next thing you look at it's a smoothing capacitor. The smoothing capacitor on the P75 here is it, a, a, a large cam on the uh, on the on the circuit, and uh, that contains two capacitors. One is a regular one, one is a smoother, and one before it is connects connects with the valve. That is a reservoir capacitor. They are in in one cam, and um, one of them goes straight off. That's uh, that one here, and of course the other one goes there. Okay, one before, one after, in this case. But again, it varies from set to set. On the bush here, um, you see, it's uh, there and there. Those two. There's also, in some cases, another capacitor on the on the uh, on the HT line. Uh, Usually, usually a, a smoother, or usually a horn's cap, or something like that. That is, that is to get rid of any high AC frequencies off the line as well. So change that as well. It's it, only in some sets, but always look for it. Okay. On all these sets, by the way, the HT line is across the top here, and the LT line is here. Okay. If the capacitor fails, by the way. You, you get a large hum when switch is set on and it will not be controlled not be something that can, can be turned down by the motor control it is constant so if you get that a constant humming noise and nothing else or something in the background then straight away go for the smoothing cap what i normally do is i leave the cap where it is and put two new capacitors under the chassis on or about um, the same value of the circuit here if the circuit is not available and uh, and you can't read them off the cam, get the valve and uh, uh, I'll tell you where it, where it goes up to. But you, usually it's 16 and 32. Okay. Next place to go up is the is the uh, output transformer, which is there or there, or in the case of the, the DC there. You see that goes down to the uh, anode. To the anode of the EL or UL84, UL in this case, and EL in the Pi 75 there, and of course, got what often the, the cap across as well, which needs to be changed or removed. Of course, it's uh, on the on the uh, on on the bush. By the way, is linked up to tone control that has a high voltage across it, and it must be changed. Speaking of valves that must be changed, of course, um, in between the output pencils did and the first IS did the capacitor which in this case is this one here yeah it's, a, it's in a, a, all the sets that, that, that this is on the dash 98 
there it is on the um, on the P75. Get it back in. Get it back in again. There, there it is on the on the uh, P75, and there it is. Same same circuit. There, on the on the undefined. That capacitor has has a higher voltage at one end of it, and the other end should have AC on it. AC as in um, speech and music, but no DC. Well, that capacitor goes short circuit. And if it does, the, the rectifier will supply more current to this valve here, the pentode, to the transformer, and both of those could fail. First thing you'll get, however, is distortion. So always change that capacitor without fail. On the, on the defiant, actually, I noticed that it was, uh, it was okay, but I changed it anyway. Now, as far as capacitor changing goes, um, anything with hunts on, change. Anything with uh, anything uh, made of, uh, of paper caps, <coughs> again, change. I think I've got one here somewhere. I think. No, I haven't. Okay, but when you open a set, you will see them. Change them straight away. Anything else? The micro caps are generally okay, and also. And also anything else that's not there's not, there's not hunts or paper, generally okay. Although capacitors are, are the bane of our lives. There are many people out there who change a lot. Do that if you want, but do please make sure first of all that transformers are okay, and also that uh, there's no other faults as well. Fault find before math changing. You learn a lot more if you do that, and of course. Uh, you find out more about this set and how it works. So don't ever fault find. Don't or don't ever ever change anything without without fault finding for apart from that capacitor. Change it without fail. Without fail, change that one all the time. The pentor, by the way, um, like all like valves, the AC or the the, the DC goes on to the. Um, Got onto the anode, which is here, and it goes down to a sometimes to a capacitor, sometimes not. Valves don't fill very often, but unfortunately, capacitors do. So, on control is here now on the defiant. Actually, the defiant is what when I'm, I'm going to talk a bit most of all here. Um, the valves we come across here are the UY85, that's the rectifier, that's there, UL84, that's that one. All this lot here is one valve, it's called the UABC80, or in case of uh, AC only BHF sets, the EABC80. That contains the uh, the first IF stage, the FM discriminator stage, and the AM stage. Yeah? This valve, that is the uh, IF stage. And in this set, it, as in many sets of this kind, it's stacked. So that valve will carry both AMIF, which is 470 kilohertz or thereabouts, or FM, which is usually, but not always, 10.7. Okay? So far, so good. And so, sit there and stop chatting at the back. Right, now, going back to, to the other bit of the um, emitting defiant, which is there, just uh, put it uh, into, cir into, into, cir into uh, circuit for you. There we are. There you are. The next one along is a UCH81, or an ECH if it's um, an AC set. The eight side and the U side together. This is a mixer oscillator stage. Oscillator is what you use to mix the stage you're listening to, be it Virgin or Radio 2 or Radio 4 or whatever, then to the IF to go forward. On AM only here, not on it, not on uh, not on FM, we'll come to F in a minute, yeah? So this bit here will 
probably be the problem if if, if the AF not getting through again. Everything is done through the HT line, of course, at the top here, apart from the signal which goes across that way towards me that way. Okay. Now the air miss here. Now here, now here, this here is a set of valve called the UCC85. It's sometimes an ECC85 in, in, in the case of an of um, an AM set, or in some it's it's a it's a it's two UF or um, EF 18 or 89s. Uh, this circuit really good trouble apart from the valve itself, but on these sets, quite often you need eight door air as well. So don't forget that you need that as well. Otherwise, you won't get very much. So that is basically it. Um, things that go wrong, well, smoothers, rectify valve, maybe um, capacitors. Um, if any stage is not working, then check on the then check on the the HT to valve, uh, the LT to the the, the the LT of course is the, the heater chain, and uh, the, the cathode goes to deck etc. Also, another thing which which all these sets have on AM is a capacitor here, AGC cap. That, that again is one which needs to be changed. But again, it's, it's usually either a hunts or. Um, or something of that nature that needs to be changed. Capacitors themselves, by the way, um, easy to get. Although the small, although new ones are, are, are often, in many cases, smaller than the ones that came out. So look for that as well. Also, the, the capacitor across the input in some cases. This is an X. This is a an X capacitor, something like that. You get get made to uh, all power supplies. But, uh, Get get one power supply. So that's something else. A la let, let's let it go go around one way. See so here's the next let let's let it. There we are. And if you look, one side of it has got a negative rail on it. That side goes to negative deck, or whatever else in the set. Apart from the discriminator stage, where it goes the other way around. That really is it as far as electronics going or radios. Simple as that. Simple, but sometimes very hard to find. There's not a lot that goes wrong with old radios, I must admit, but always keep them, keep them running. Use them. Use them or lose them, as the people say. It is true. Always use them. This is another one, for example. This is an Echo U245. I'll give, give you a minute here to look, and, to look at it and find out whether it's AC, DC or AC and uh, what caps to change. Yeah, well, it's AC DC, that's the 85 volt, that's the uh, that's the chain there, um, that's the uh, ADC cap, that is the um, that is the uh, cap for the uh, the for the output pencil. Well, that's when it must change. The smoother is here. Always get a circuit if you can. If you can't get a circuit for a valve, by the way, at least get the data on all the valves okay and look at those as well and always look before you leave and always remember there's a disease out there called cctp compulsive capacity change in personality don't do it because it fault find it find the problem then of course you know more about the radio and you know about the radio and that is the way to become an expert people who just change capacities at random I'm sorry, they aren't engineers, they are, they are uh, you know, boot, boot guys and they don't understand how things work and you need to really understand how things work. It's quite simple, like I said before previously, P-A-I-R, which is pair, power supply, audio, IF, RF, pair, simple as that. So that is basically all radios in a nutshell. Another thing, by the way, is that some of the really, really old sets, of course, uh, using the uh, industrial opto valves, they, they tend to be uh, mostly AC, although not always, and the rectifiers are on a separate circuit of 5 volts rather than 6.3. We'll come to that, and I recognise straight away on that one, because there's two, two the, the three windings on the transformer, one for the HT, one for the valves, and one for the rectifier. Again, simple, it's again, again, fairly simple, but uh, something to take for. There is a there is a 
a valve which can be used if you need to change the transformer in a set and need to put something different in and that is a, a 6x5 that you can get them and that is a job which uh, you can do in some cases i have in fact uh, in the past uh, gone and uh, modified power supplies in that way but that is something for a future video well that is it really so um I'll speak to you soon and in the meantime, as always, keep fixing radios and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.